of the things that I commonly uh, get asked in the Filipino martial arts and training and the different systems that I teach is, is it really necessary to study all the different categories of weaponry? For instance, uh, Dan and Asano's system has 12 different categories of weaponry. So single stick, double stick, stick and dagger, palm stick, single dagger, double dagger, staff, spear, flexible weapon, all sorts of stuff. And people are like, well, you know, really, I just want to use what's going to be applicable today. What, what am I going to be able to carry today? I can't carry a spear every day, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Or flexible weapons, who's wearing a sarong to these days? I'm not bothering with that. Uh, I'm just going to use the knife. I'm just going to focus on the knife. Or I'm just going to focus on the stick. Because those are things that are practical and applicable in today's world. But the real reason behind studying all those things, although they may seem like exotic weaponry, um, say nunchucks, um, really isn't to master those particular weapons of, of ancient design. It's really so that when you walk into a room or you're in an area, that you can look at the items in that area and recognize certain characteristics. Like, you know, that, that pipe right there will work for a single stick. Um, that uh, screwdriver will work for a dagger. Um, this seatbelt extender on the airplane will work like a pair of nunchucks. Um, my tie will work as a sarong. And so really the idea behind studying multiple categories of weaponry, like in the Inasano system, uh, isn't to master the ancient system of sword and spear or, or, or a shield and, and sword. Uh, it's so that you can learn to recognize modern day things around you and their characteristics and recognize, hey, that is capable of being this and that is capable of being that. And with that idea and that education and that mindset, and then having the actual skill to be able to use them because you actually trained them. You didn't just become educated on them, you actually burned reps. You got in class, you sparred, you did drills with them, you do all the things that you need to do to build the skill. Then when you get out there in the real world, you recognize those things and you can actually put them to use for you for real. So whether it's in a restaurant or, or in a vehicle or anywhere else out there in the world, that way you don't walk, that way once you have that education, you're never really walking around unarmed. You may not particularly have anything in your hands at the time, but you're able to recognize enough in your environment that you're never really truly unarmed. And that comes from an education and skill building sets. And that's why you gotta study all 12 of those categories of, of weaponry.